Hello and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. A couple of days ago I got a question from the member at myfinanceteacher.org on where do I see crude oil. So let's have a look at crude oil today. Firstly, looking at the chart, I see that the intermediate cycle in crude oil is 129 days long at the moment. Usually these cycles last for just over half a year on average. So I think this crude oil cycle is ready to possibly roll over and start declining down into the intermediate cycle low relatively soon. What I also see on the chart is that crude oil is at resistance at the moment. Although back on the 8th of March it did poke above resistance. It couldn't actually stay there. It couldn't even close above that resistance zone. And this resistance is based on the highs back from January 2020. Above that, the next resistance zone would be somewhere around $76 all the way from the highs in October 2018. What I also see is that crude oil is poking above, um, well, relatively wide Bollinger Bands. So I think, again, that also tells you that perhaps a turnaround back down is upcoming relatively soon. Another thing I see on the chart is a negative divergence between higher highs on the price chart versus lower highs on the 14-day RSI. Negative divergence often, although not always, it often indicates that some kind of a cool down is upcoming. Additionally, some of these are recent uh, big green candles on crude oil were the result of this OPEC meeting on the 4th of March over here, actually exactly on the day of one of the largest green candles over here. The result of OPEC meeting is that although Russia and Kazakhstan are going to increase their production of crude oil a little bit for the month of April, Saudi Arabia is going to maintain its production cuts. So this positive news coming up from OPEC meeting brought this uh, recent increase in crude oil prices into that resistance zone. But what I think is that relatively strong crude oil prices might actually stimulate production of crude oil in the US. And it looks like we agree on that opinion with the Energy Information Administration. So let's have a look at the data. We see that from the middle of February, production in the US has actually been growing, increasing by over 12% already. In addition, what we see is that the rig count is actually rising as well. Back in the beginning of February, at the end of January, the rig count was below 300. At the moment, it's 310. And this rig count bottomed all the way back in the middle of August. While crude oil, if you look at the price chart, actually bottomed much earlier than that. So there is a bit of a lag in the response of uh, rig counts to the price action. So it will probably take a while for these relatively strong crude oil prices to push the rig counts even higher. But this additional production eventually is, in my opinion, going to push the prices back down perhaps into that intermediate cycle low in another uh, two or three months. A usual duration is say 180, 190, 200 days. So we possibly have another two to three months to, until crude oil is ready to give us an intermediate cycle low. How low would prices be at that intermediate cycle low? Well, one of your targets could be the support resistance zone, somewhere around $54 per barrel which is based on January highs, January consolidation area, as well as February last year highs. That's possibly over the next two to three months. Although in the very long term, going into the next two to three years, I am still very bullish on energy as the economy is going to gradually open up all over the world as people will be eager to get back outside and start traveling. That I think is going to be very beneficial for energy prices. By the way, talking about opening up of the economy, let's have a look at the virus cases in the US. The most recent data is for the 10th of March this year, as you see. And uh, well, unfortunately, it looks like over the last week, there were a couple of large spikes in this data. So if these are early warnings of increases in new cases, uh, this might also scare the investors, perhaps pushing the crude oil prices down into that intermediate cycle low. 
continuing to look at the fundamentals as production has been increasing over the last couple of weeks so too have the inventories increased as well as you see over the last couple of weeks the increase in inventories has actually been quite large however this increase in uh, crude oil inventories is kind of offset by a decline in the inventories of petroleum products the, the different distillate products over here are near the bottom of the five-year range and actual gasoline products are actually below that five-year range whereas in the top left corner you see that the crude oil inventories have actually increased over the last couple of weeks by the way today new data on natural gas inventory is going to come out and uh, together with the members at myfinanceteacher.org we've actually been observing and trying to take a sniper shot at natural gas prices if you want to be informed on that, consider joining us at myfinanceteacher.org. I think a very interesting trading opportunity might be coming up relatively soon. And we'll have a look at the details once the new inventory data comes up for natural gas. And lastly, looking at the optimism index for crude oil. I would say that the markets are probably a little bit too excited about the oil. Remember, you want to reduce your positions. You want to sell whenever markets are euphoric, whenever markets are too excited about an asset. And whenever markets are pessimistic, whenever the proverbial blood on the streets is flowing on the streets, that's when you generally want to buy. This optimism index shows you that the intermediate cycle lows in crude oil generally take place when the optimism index is close to this green line around 30 sometimes it's in the mid 30s although sometimes when a crude oil price drop is relatively severe an intermediate cycle low doesn't come until this optimism index actually comes close to 20 rather than 30 and currently it's at 60 so you never know where the top will be perhaps crude oil will push higher into that next resistance zone at around 76 before cooling off into the intermediate cycle low and for that reason, I still have very small positions in energy. While together with the members at myfinanceteacher.org, we've actually took advantage of this strong rally in energy and reduced our positions substantially relatively recently. So while you don't know where exactly crude oil price will top, generally, I think over the next several weeks, over the next two to three months, perhaps the gains in crude oil are going to be relatively modest. And crude oil is actually likely to decline into an intermediate cycle low. Do you agree with my analysis? Perhaps you don't. Let me leave you with this question. Do you see crude oil under $60 sometime by May this year? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, remember to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. I wish you a pleasant day and good luck in your trades.